Shalom Yeshua, first and foremost, son give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kudash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessing to the Ophelakim, that's preach the word in all truth and sincerity, alone to Israelite foreigner brothers, that are like the heathens, but the line and false side goes back to nation of Israel, which nation of Israel, a so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter, and throughout the Bible. So this is Brother Yakal, a mom, for the lesson, and um, today, today's lesson will be entitled, Time and Chance Happeneth to the Mall. That's going to go on some precepts, and uh, low willing, brothers, and if you sisters out there, be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, now I'm going to start off with Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 11. And it reads, I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet fairer to men of skill. But time and chance happeneth to the mall. That's right, man. You know, I want to emphasize on the last part when it says but time and chance happen to them all meaning the Lord gives everyone a time and chance to prosper you know even even you being wicked you know because that's really why I want to send it, uh, send this lesson around you know the wicked prospering you know and how you know the so called white men which they are the wicked according to the Bible the white race the Edomites how you know it just seemed like not seem like, but they are prospering, you know, and they're wicked, you know, they're see the evildoers, man, you know, and, but it just shows you how fair and righteous Yahweh Bashem Shai is because he even gave the people whom he hates, which are the Edomites, a kingdom, which it was prophesied for Esau to have a kingdom when um, his father Isaac blessed him, you know, blessed him with, to have a kingdom, you know, so, um, we go to Job chapter 12 and verse 6. It says, The tabernacles of robbers prosper, right? You know, a tabernacle is a house, you know, and who are the robbers? Who are the ones that rob this land from the Native Americans, the Latinos, the so called white men? You know, who was the one that kidnapped, you know, a nation of people, which are you so called Negroes, which are you are Israelites, you know? You, you kidnap a whole nation of people from one continent and brought them over to another. You know, that's a that's a thief, man. You you uh you robbed the whole people, man. You know, who's the one that going going to all these um heathens countries and um extorting all their resources, their rich resources from their um countries and, and stuff, man. You know, capitalizing off of the nation of people, their own products in their own countries for them to prosper. Who's who's doing that? The so-called white man. You know, but they prosper. Why? Because this is their time to shine. This is their kingdom. You know? And that's how you know uh we Yahweh Bashmoshai has to judge this man, will be the one to uh, destroy this man because no man on earth can have the power to destroy this man but except for our Lord Yahweh Shai. You see, it says the tabernacles of robbers prosper and they that provoke Yahweh are secure. Yeah, so it seemed like those are the ones that provoke the most high by not keeping the law such commandments. That's, that's just their heart is far away from the Lord. It seemed like they're just secure. Nothing happens to them. You know, their houses are safe from the rod of the most high. Their children is, is, is prosperous. They go to the best schools. You know, they got, you know, um, thousands in their bank accounts. Talking about, you know, the regular eating artists that live in, in good communities. You know? Um, you know, even the elites, man. You know, their offspring is set, is, is, is established in front of them. You know? It says, And to whose hand your power bringeth abundantly. Yeah, so the Lord brought abundant blessings because really, like Apostle Hart said, really it's a blessing to have slaves. So Esau is blessed right now because he has the Israelites, the top nation on earth, 
That's slaves, man. You know? But what Esau doesn't know is, like Elder Zahab, you know, from GMS Mississippi says from time to time, Esau, what Esau doesn't realize is that his kingdom has an expiration date. You know? See, your kingdom's going to end. You know, and that's confident to us, man, because being in the flesh, it can sometimes seem like these devils is always going to have the upper hand. You know? But we know according to prophecies that these devils are going to fall because the kingdom of heaven has been prophesied in the book of Daniel, the seventh chapter. You know, that and after Esau's kingdom, which is his kingdom of America, Babylon the Great, will be the kingdom of heaven. You know, and Yahweh Shah is going to be the only man to take this devil out. You know, out of rulership, man. Out of power. This is Psalm chapter 12, verse 8. It says, The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. Yeah, you saw that vilest men. You know, he's the one that that dwelt in the Caucasus Mountains in Georgia, Russia, man. You know, that was grunting in them, in them caves, man. You know, and just get a quick precept. Joel chapter 30, verse 8. It says, um, now this is talking about the Edomites. Now it doesn't mention Edomite in this chapter, but in spirit, Joel was talking about the Edomites, if you you know, if you can understand. Um, but this is Joel chapter 30, verse um, 5. It says, they were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as after a thief. Yeah, they used to talk about the Edomites driven forth from among men. Because they were in that Neanderthal spirit, man. You know, they were thieves. And whenever our people would see the Edomites, they would cry after them, leave, oh, you a thief, go, go. Like, kind of like scare them off. You know? Not kind of, but scare them off. Because cause our people knew that these Edomites were thieves. They were wicked. It says to dwell in the clefts of the valleys, in, in the caves of the earth, and in the rocks. You know, so these Edomites, they were dwelling in caves, man. They were the real Neanderthals, man. You know, as that guy called Marshall, as they used to show it. I don't know if they still show it now, but, you know, um, that cave, man, that was, that was Esau. You know, it says, verse 7, among the bushes they braid, under the nettles they were gathered together. And braid being when they make that little, like, ooh, 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 like a, like a, like kind of like an ape noise. With them gorillas and how they be, you know, sounding. That's how the Edomites, they were sounding. You know, that was like their, um, <laughs> their language, man. You know, they were such a, on a base level. The Lord even gave them an actual, you know, at that time, of course, you know, they they wasn't even speaking no uh, words, man. You know, it says, verse 8, it says, they were children of fools. Yeah, children of base men. They were valid in the earth, and vile just means they just scum in the earth, man. You know, either one at this time, and when the Edomites were in that caveman spirit, you don't want to be around the Edomite, man. You know, they were stinking, they didn't take showers, they they were hairy, you know, their teeth was just, just green, <laughs> you know. But uh, let's look at that word vow. On Google, it's, it means extremely unpleasant, you know, morally bad, wicked, of little worth or value. Yeah, and that all applies to the Edomites, man. You know, but now that they're in power, now they think they're the shit, you know, which you can't change your nature. Yeah, you can you can deceive people by putting on a suit on and having a, a shave, shaving face. Hair slicked back, but guess what? You can't change who you are, your character, man, your spirit, you know, because you are the wicked. It says foul, nasty, unpleasant, bad. Yeah. And all that's all these are <laughs> all these apply to Edomites, man. Abominable, you know. Let's go to uh Psalms chapter 12, verse 8. It says the wicked walk on every side. When the violence men are exalted, yeah, so now they have been. Exalted because the Lord exalted them, you know, to have this kingdom, you know. And when you go back to Joel 30, like I was saying, um, now they think they're the shit since they're on top. Uh, Joel 39 says, And now am I their son? Yeah, I am them, 
I am their bow word. Yeah, so now that Edomites are on power, now we are their by word. Now they talk shit about us. You know, you nigger, you, you, know, you ain't shit. You know, you're nothing but a slave. You, you, you know, your, your history just goes back to being a slave. You know, just talking shit about us, man, us Israelites. You know? Now that they have, now that they have received their king, they have power. You know, it says they abhor me, meaning abhor me is a void. They flee far from me, and spare not to spit in my face. And this was happening in slavery, man. The Edomites were literally spitting in our face, man. And that's that's the ultimate uh, disrespect, man. You know, for you to spit in someone's face, that's that's disrespectful, and that's how they would, that's what they was doing in slavery. We still in slavery today, but I mean, like hardcore slavery when we was out there plowing the field and you know, you know what they show you on roofs and stuff. That type of slavery, you know, they were they was doing that, you know. And when you go to Daniel four verse seventeen, it says this matter is by the decree of the watchers, and the man by the word of the holy ones, to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men. See, that's the thing. You know, Yahweh Bashmon Shai Ruf in the kingdom of men. You know, no kingdom is set up unless the Lord sanctions it on earth. You see? It says, and give it to whomsoever he will, and set up over it the basis of men. So it's the Lord that set up these Edomites. And they're and they're the basis of men. They they ain't nothing, man. You know? They're uh they're nothing but peasants with money. You know? Just how they look is inferior. You know, because the whole, because they really think that they're superior to us and they're not. They're inferior on all levels, man, for how they look, you know, their spirit, you know, the uh, physically, spiritually, morally, you know, everything. You know, why? Because us Israelites, we are the, um, we are stronger than you Edomites, you know. Uh, one nation shall be stronger than the other, as I said in Genesis. Our forefather Jacob was stronger. Uh, us Israelites, which we descend from our forefather Jacob, are stronger than you Edomites. You know, and Jacob, our actual forefather Jacob, was stronger than than Esau. You know, it's just because, you know, only reason you got power right now because it's the Lord that gave you the power, and then and and you, you have prophecies to fulfill still. So you're still strong, but once you fulfill all the prophecies that that um, that the Lord gonna put the spirit on you to do so, then the Lord's gonna uh, strip His power from you, man. You know, this is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter eleven verse nine. Says, Rejoice, O young man, in thy youth, and let thy heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth, and walk in the ways of thy heart. And in the sight of thine eyes, but know thou that for all these things your how will bring thee into judgment, right, man? So in other words, you know, go ahead and do what you want to do, man. You know, lay your life, you know, live in mirth, live in pleasure, you know, do what you want to do, do it to the fullest extent. That yellow lifestyle, that obey your thirst, don't quench your thirst spirit, you know, but know after all these things. The Lord going to bring it to judgment. That's ultimately applies to Esau. You know, because Esau has been living wanton and reckless and uh, being, uh, living and immoral, you know, not following the laws of the commandments. So this ultimately applies to them, but this also applies to two-thirds of our people too, you know, because they're following the deeds of the wicked. You know, our women, you know, these women got power right now because this this society is a queen of heaven worship society, man. You know, got power to put a man on child support and, you know, falsely accuse a man and put him in prison all because she wanted to go out and be a hoe, you know, and have OnlyFans and, you know, just making um, hella revenue from men, you know. But know that all these things, man, the Lord going to bring, you know, you into judgment, man. You know? And that's comfort in us, man, because we want these things to happen. You know, and the Lord's going to reward, go give a reward. 
This is Proverbs 26 and 10. It says, The great God, Yahweh, that form all things, both reward the fool and war transgressors and rape. That war is going to be judgment, destruction. You know, because the Lord is going to render, is going to render a reward to the proud, man. You know, as it says in Psalms 94. No one gets away, man. Uh, this is Psalms 94 and verse, uh, um, yep, verse 2. It says, Lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth. Render a war, render a reward to the proud, man. That's right. That's what we want to want the, that's what we want the Lord to do, man. Esau is the most proud, you know, and these people that's um that follows him, you know. And the Lord's gonna do it, man. It's just a matter of time. You know, the Lord's gonna is gonna act upon his word, man. He's a man of his word, he don't lie. So all we gotta do is be patient until the Lord as scripture say, wait upon me until I rise to the praise. So that's what we got to do. We can't go out and take matters in our own hands because we angry at the moment. No, we got to wait upon the Lord because the Lord can do way much damage than, than, than we can. You know? And we don't got power right now. <laughs> and we don't got power right now anyways. You know? Um, verse 3 says, Lord, Yahweh, how long shall the wicked how long shall that wicked triumph, man? Yeah, it just seemed like, like, man, how long these these Edomites, how long they're going to triumph? You know, because our forefathers often spoke like this because, you know, they they was feeling like this, man. You know, everything, you know like, man, how long the wicked going to prosper? I don't, you know? But that's just being in the flesh, but we understand the Lord is not going to allow this wickedness to keep continuing, man. The Lord has a cutoff point. For wickedness, just as in the time of uh of Noah. You know, the Lord said, Now nah, this is enough, man, they're getting too wicked. You know, and the, that's why the Lord brought that flood. The Lord's gonna bring the the that the lake of fire, the second death, which will be the lake of fire in it in, in, in to destroy America, man. You know, and, and rightfully so, good riddance, man. You know, because this place is 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 too wicked, man. It's 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 too far gone. Um, this is a decadent uh, society, man. You know, decadence. So let's go to um. Yeah, I read that already. Um. But you know, I want to make sure I bring balance to the lesson too. You know, not just only talking about you know time and chance happening. You know, in regards to the wicked, but also the righteous. You know. Because low woman party elect, the Lord is gonna reward us, you know, with with salvation, uh, allowing us to have a hedge of protection and Jacob's trouble, allowing us to be able to eat and drink during time of famine, and you know, just the Lord will be blessing us, Lord willing, you know. So I, just, you know, I just wanted to make sure I, I, I bring a balance to the lesson as well, you know. But this is um Psalms chapter five verse twelve, which says, "For thou, Yahweh, will bless the righteous." With favor will thou compass him as with the shield. Yes, yeah, so you how about small shots won't bless the righteous man. You know, the, the, his elect, the ones that's you know, stood up for truth, man. You know, that stood up against the evil doers for the Lord for his name's sake. You know, that stood so stiffly for his name, you know, that didn't renounce um uh their God, you know. That didn't take the MOTB. The Lord is going to bless those individuals, the elect, man. With favor, will thou compass him with, will thou compass him as with the shield? Yeah, that's the head, that's the protection, man. That's the Lord granting uh, protection to his elect, because a shield is what protects, you know, your, you know, your, your mid, your mid area, your chest and stuff from getting stabbed and stuff. So the Lord's going to be a force field for his elect, man. You know, in the time of Jacob's trouble. This is Revelation 11, 18. It says, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath has come, in the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldst give a war unto thy servants of prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great. Yeah, that's what the Lord's going to do, man. You know? So the Lord will be party late. Lord 
We keep continuing to endure in the, in the truth to the end, Lord willing. The Lord's going to reward us, man. You know, in the kingdom. You know? And we're going to have, we're going we gonna to get all our heart's desires, man, in righteousness. It says, instead of destroy them, we just destroy the earth, right? You know, and who's all, who are the ones that's destroying the earth right now? You saw Edom. So, the Lord's going to destroy these Edomites, man, that's destroying the earth because the earth is waxing old, as the scriptures say. You know, it's, it's uh, you know, it's not bearing, it's not yielding forth her fruit, you know, like like it was in the beginning. Because why? Because the lost commandments are not being applied here. Not here in America, but just everywhere throughout the whole earth, you know. So that's why the earth is in, in, in chaos and you're seeing, you know, animals is mourning and whales is bleaching themselves, you know, plastics all in the, um, in, the, in, the, in the ocean, you know, which plastic is, is uh, uh, non-biodegradable, meaning, you know, it doesn't break down. It just sits there, you know, and you have animals eating plastic and they get, and they die from that, man, you know. The more uh, people, morals, uh, people, the immoral people, so, let me rephrase that again. People's morals are not, you know, the same, you know, so this place just need to go, man. You know? And that's why we look for a new kingdom where and dwell of righteousness, man. You know? And I just end off with one last precept. Um, so time and chance happen to them all, man. You know, the Lord gave everybody a chance to prosper. And I know in this lesson I cover more of the wicked side, but, you know, just wanted to bring in that balance as well with the righteous, you know, because that's going to be, that's going to be the ultimate um, one up over, over these people of the world, man. That's, these wicked people of the world that's prospering, that when all hell break loose, the Lord is going to be dealing with his elect, man, you know. Um Father, good pleasure. No. Uh, yep, Luke 12 and 32. Um, and it reads, Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Right, so that's what we're striving for, Akim, is, you know, for the kingdom, man. You know, but we, we know we got works to do, and, you know, we got to, you know, through much tribulation, must we enter into the kingdom of heaven, man. So it's not going to be a cakewalk. It's going to be difficult. But as long as we got Yahweh by small side, we will prevail, man. And Lowell and being part of the elect. So, yeah, I can not spend my tips. Just want to make a quick lesson on that. Um, Lowell and I was edified. And uh, until next time, Shalom.